This is just kind of a brief overview of what some of the buttons are on this module. In terms of sensitivity, adjusting the sensitivity is done right on the face of the module right here. We're actually looking at the symbol and percussion area of the module. Of course, everything's right there on the face, but you've got the actual input, the sensitivity adjustments right there on the face, which is a little bit different than Roland or Yamaha modules because you have to go to a setting and change it with their module. With this one, you just turn the dial up or down, um, just like you're adjusting the volume itself. So it's right there. With the Pentec pads, I can't really give you a sensitivity number like I have done with all the other modules because there really isn't one. Um, you adjust the knob. I think most of them are set to about three-fourths of the way up for the majority of the pads, but that's kind of a user preference. Um, I like my pads a little bit hot, and then I, I keep the master level down a little bit, but you know, there again, that's a personal setting. Now, I'm not going to work with the pallet button at all on this. Um, the main thing I'm concerned with, uh, the reason we're looking at this area is because I want to show you these buttons here. And what those are is those select the different pads. And when you're going through making your adjustments to your drums, setting the, the trigger input type and threshold, etc., what you're going to do with this module is instead of striking a pad, you're actually going to press the button of the trigger that you're wanting to work with. For example, if you're going to work with your kick drum, you press the button that says kick. You want to work with your snare, same thing with the rim, toms. Of course, I've got uh, cymbals assigned here, and then your hi-hats. So that's where we're going to go as I start working on the different pads instead of striking the drum like I normally do, the sound you're hearing produce is actually from me touching those buttons. So we're going to move over to the right side of the module just a little bit and take a look at the, the main control. You're going to start off making your adjustments to your pads by pressing the system button. You'll see the trigger input is lit up. As indicated, the HHT is the, the button that's selected. That's because the last button I pressed produced the hi-hat sound. Okay, that's what you want it to read for your hi-hat symbols. For Pentex kick drum, again, I'm just pressing the button on the module. It's the bass. Snare is listed as a pad type. Rim says rim. Pad for all of your toms. Symbol for all of your symbols. Now, if your module says something different, um, it, you know, it may be set for somebody else's drums, you bought it used, then you're going to have to change it. It's real simple. All you have to do is turn the wheel until you get your right trigger type. We've got ours set at the symbol. You select your correct trigger type. Then we're going to work with the threshold for the Pentec drums. Kick drum, I've got it 10. Snare head, 15. Rim, I've got set at 70 because I had a lot of crosstalk going on. All of my toms are 15. Okay, the symbols need to be set at 15. I actually don't have a symbol plugged into that, so I never adjusted it. Ride symbol is plugged into symbol 2, I've got it at 15. And my hats, I've got set at 10. Okay, on this module, the dynamics, instead of having a linear curve or hard or loud like some of the other modules do, this uses a number scale, and the, the number zero is actually going to be the linear curve itself. So make sure all of your pads, drums, cymbals, hi-hat, make sure all of that's set to zero. You want a linear curve. So the harder you strike it, the louder the sound is produced. Uh, adds more dynamics to the, the drum sound. Now your output A is basically, is, needs to be set to one and a half. 
Um, you can pan those. What that is is just your pan between your left and right output, output A and B. Um, 150, I've got everything set on this one, this center. You know, of course, if you're using it live um, or if you want to pan it left or right, you can make those adjustments there. You adjust your, your trigger input, adjust your threshold, your dynamics, and then set the sensitivity to you know, whatever your preference is. Um, there's not a set, set guide. I mean, this is just a, kind of a baseline to tell you what to do. Okay, another setting that I want to show you how to adjust is for the hi-hat with Pentec symbols. I'm going to press the system button until we get the trigger input to light back up. Okay, we've got our trigger input. I'm going to select my hi-hat by pressing the hi-hat button. What we're going to do is actually calibrate the hi-hat symbols. Now, this requires using the Pentec D-Drum hi-hat adapter. What you have to do, depending on what you're using, um, for our purposes, we're going to discuss the new in-between controller that Pentec has on their visual light symbols and their hyper hat pedal. Now with the new in-between controller, the symbols mount on the hi-hat stand and the controller is actually a part of the symbols and it allows you to actually use a drop clutch. So what you're going to do with it, you're actually going to loosen the clutch up, let the symbols drop closed. Okay, without doing anything to the symbols, let them sit closed and you would hold down the shift button and press the kit store or exit. And you'll notice, watch when I do this, just real quickly, that HHT will say CAL. What that does is it, it calibrates that it's closed. So when you make an adjustment after that to your hi-hats, it's going to recognize the difference from that closed position and start to give you open sounds. Now to set this up with the hyper-hat pedal, you're going to actually hold your foot down, hold the pedal down as if you were holding the cymbals closed. While you're still holding that down, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to hold that shift button down and press the kit store and it's going to calibrate it for the hyper hat. Like I said, not only do you have to have the Pentec D-Drum adapter, you're also going to have to have a Y adapter. I use the HOSA brand. Uh, you have to have a stereo Y adapter to two quarter inch female. And uh, what it does is you're, you're actually plugging in your cymbal into one of those inputs and then you plug your cable from the D-Drum adapter into the other because their original module was set up for their product which is an all-inclusive controller and cymbal all in one. Once you've made all your changes, all you have to do to exit out is press the exit button. We're back on the player kit number one and ready to start playing our drums. Okay, well that's pretty much how to set up the D-Drum with the Pentec stuff. Like I said, the, the actual trigger in terms of sensitivity, there is not a set number that I can give you. Like I said, most of these are about three-fourths of the way up, half of the way up. Um, you know, if I were playing on it full time, had a little bit longer to work with it, chances are I would tweak those even more to make the drums a little more dynamic um, so that they're not completely hot. But, uh, you know, that's just kind of a general guideline. If you have any questions, jump online on the Pentec Forum. You can access it through their website, PentecWorld.com. Feel free to shoot me an email, I'll answer you the best I can. It's Brian at HopeDrums.com. Until then, take care. Keep drumming.